A good Thursday. Uh, guys were sharp, played well, practiced well, good enthusiasm. Uh, got to take it to the field, need to start fast. This is a good team we're playing. I say Wake Forest is, I mean, they just do everything right and got really good players, uh, coach well, sound, all three phases, get turnovers on defense, don't turn over on offense, convert, play great, great situational football, uh, special teams. They've done a heck of a job with these guys. And these guys have all started a long time, got a lot of experience, and they're very physical, tough football teams. So we're going to have to play well. So I think to see how we take it to the field. Questions? Klaus's team's 3-9 the last two years. I'm sorry? With uh, Dave Klaus's team's 3-9 the last two years, it's like the natural progression you want a program. You want a program. To take yes, it is. Right? And they have. I mean, they've played a, lot of, they played a lot of those guys young, and they've matured. They're stronger, bigger. They were always good players. They were just young. You know what I'm saying? Now they just keep the, fit, the maturities there along with the execution, the discipline. I mean, they're, they're a really good football team. Done a real, Dave's done a real nice job. Well, Sam, no, it's big for a team like that just to have the confidence that comes with that type of record rolling in here. Oh, no doubt. I mean, I'd say the combined record of the teams we play is 17 and 2. So these guys are used to win. They expect to win. I mean, that's what they're doing. And when you win, you win, confidence grows. And like I said, the most important thing in ball is confidence. Francois practice, and is he going to be good to go for Saturday? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He'll be playing. Is there any news on the injury front? I mean, of course, there's Nate, but anything else new? Mm -hmm. Right here. Uh, Darvin Taylor and Vickers are out. McGuire, you always say that with his foot, but I mean, he's great. I don't know why we even have that on there. He's ready to play. He had to practice really well the last three days, too. Uh, Nate, Keith Bryant, Campbell, and Derwin Jane. How indefinite. That's it. How is Derwin progressing? Well, I mean, they're trying to keep him, they're telling him to slow down, make sure he don't do too much because he's, he's healing and feeling good. So we gotta, we're, we're, I've, I've kept up with it, but we'll really evaluate it hard next week when we get the off week. And you're saying with Vickers, what would, what's he going to be out with? He'd been banged up. He had, he had a concussion a couple weeks ago and symptoms still has symptoms and things like that. Jimbo, after the Miami game, you were asked, um, I'm trying to think what the exact phrasing was, but you were asked if this team grew up with the Miami win. You said you, you know, asked me next week. What have you seen in that evolution, that progression? Of us we're continuing to practice better. We practiced better last week. We've practiced really. I, I've been pleased with our practice. I'm a lot more efficient, a lot more enthusiasm, a lot more execution, a lot more. I mean, you just see them starting to grow together. And uh, But we'll hope we get them to take it to the field. But they, I, they have come back this week with great enthusiasm and energy in practice. There hasn't been a slack off at all. I mean, they've not because it would be. Cause people think because you have a big emotional win, you know what I mean, or a rival. But they, they've handled it really well and practiced really well. I guess uh, Xavier Rose is supposed to be in town this oh, weekend. Yeah. He's been involved with the kids first up in Minnesota. Just what's it mean to have what, him still be part of the team? What a great guy, man. I mean, and, and I mean, playing his tail off. I mean, big physical corner, one of the, probably one of the top guys in the NFL right now. I mean, and he's a guy that kind of goes under the radar. I mean, he was a great player here for us. That we didn't you know because he got up in Minnesota. We don't hear as much about him, but I mean, and he's up there with our foundation. I mean, because right there as we go to the University of Minnesota, he promotes everything he does. I mean, that just tells you of his character. I mean, you know, to reach back and help us and help our family. I, I, I can't say enough about him, and I've always loved Xavier, and I'm so happy for him. I mean, this guy's gonna play a long time in the league and and um, earned every right of it. Just and was a great player here, and he's he's a better person than he is player. I mean, I I, I love Zay. It's gonna be great to see him this weekend. Rose was one of the first guys that you had that went through a position change. Mm -hmm. Why do you think you've had so much success with those? Uh, I, the kids. Because they, they could do what you ask them to do, and, and they bought in and believed in what it is and had great attitudes. I mean, you can say as a coach, you can move guys all you want and act like you're smart, but those kids have to buy in and go do it and have the ability to do it and, and go play. And, and uh, it, it's all about the kids, every one of them. Is there a different skill set as a coach when you evaluate, say, a guy in high school watching tape versus you know, self-evaluation when he's there every day? Is that Oh, no doubt. I mean, yeah, it is. I mean, you can see it on tape. When you watch a guy in person and how he relates, his physicality, how he thinks, how he processes from coaching him. I mean, I can say it's hard to you coach him. I mean, I don't care what you say. Or you've had him in camp and all those things that go around. But it is. And then once you get him there in person, you can see some traits and see. And a lot of them will do, hey, I never knew he could even do that. You know what I'm saying? I saw some things. But, man, this is good. He does this better. He has a chance, and you know, and you, and you try to just put them in the best possible position you think for their future. And that and those kids buy, and we've had some tremendous kids do that. Is it easier to do that these days when you have the track record and can point out a Xavier Rhodes or a Cam Irving or? On, on, on. Well, you do, but I mean, each individual guy is crazy. That sound you put that out there, but everybody says, well, you know, well, that's not me. You know what I'm saying? And everybody has to do it. But again, it goes back to the kids. Wanting to do it and tr again trusting in you and, and having great conversation. And then, again, I never move any of them that don't want to move. You know what I'm saying? If they don't want to move, we don't make them move.